Welcome to Wargroove. In this episode, we're taking a look at Wolfar. Alright, what can Wolfar gulf? Well, Wolfar can gulf enemy and allied units alike. Let's start by just showing you what the groove does. It's called Tioff. I'm going to use it on this allied unit here. And it can go up to 9 spaces away from Wolfar, or 8 spaces away from its original position if you go straight. However, it can go much further on the diagonals. Now, what happens if I golf one of my own units? So if I hit my own unit with my great big golf club, I'm going to do about 45% of my commander's damage to that unit. However, when it lands, it won't hurt any of my other units. Now, that being said, what if I golf it into enemy territory? Like, say, between these two guys here. When it lands, it will do 45% of my commander's damage to these units. Now, of course, the commander does a lot more damage to swords than to giants, so the sword takes more damage. And the unit I golf also takes damage even if it's mine. But the units that it lands near do not take damage if they're mine, only enemy units. Alright, so let's see how this interacts with commanders. Can I tee off a commander? I cannot. What about a neutral unit? Nope. Hmm. Alright, well, let's tee off something more interesting. What if I tee off this dragon? I can definitely do air units. And what happens if I tee off a dragon onto a castle wall? It won't let me select a castle wall. You can't tee off anything onto a tile you can't select. But you can tee off something onto a tile it should not be able to exist on, like flagstone. If you do, however, it will die. The same thing will happen, for example, if I tee off this turtle onto land. It doesn't matter if it's mine or my opponent's. Doing this will completely destroy the unit. And the same thing happens, for example, if I tee off this enemy skeleton into the water. You can even see the sinking animation. Alright, so what about hostile neutral units? I can attack it, but I can't tee it off. So you would suspect that, well, if I tee off something next to it, it won't do damage to it, right? But it does. Hostile neutral units cannot be teed off, but they can take damage from the impact of another teed off unit. Neutral units cannot be teed off, off you go. and they do not take damage from the impact. Again, you can't tee off a commander, but a commander will take damage from the impact. Now you might notice that when I tee off one of my own units, its turn is spent. However, if I make my unit do something that will end its turn normally, that does not prevent me from teeing it off. So you might want to take your unit's you. turn before you use it as a golf ball. I really wish I could tee off Valder, that would be so cool. Now you can get a lot more range on this by going the diagonal route. See how far that went? Still can't tee off this true neutral over here. Alright, I'd like to take a pot shot at this stronghold. Does the damage affect buildings? Let's spawn myself a good golf ball By to use. Hands, rise. By my hands, rise, golf ball. The answer is most certainly... Time to take a yes. Hand. Wolfar can damage buildings like strongholds with the groove. And like before, it does 50% commander damage. Alright, we've covered every aspect of Wolfar's groove. It was a lot, so let me summarize it again. The groove can be used on allied and enemy units, air, land, and sea. You cannot tee off neutral or hostile neutral units. You can also not tee off commanders. However, hostile neutral units and commanders will take damage from the impact. Enemy units will also take damage to from the impact. Your allied units will not take damage from the impact. But anything you tee off will take damage from being teed off. All damage done by the groove is exactly equal to 45% of Wolfbar's damage to them as if he were at full health. Whew, that was a lot. And that's how Wolfbar's golfing groove works. 
Stay tuned for the next video, and welcome to Wargroove.